Hello. Today I'd like to show you the Mac. It's a MacBook Pro Unibody uh, with an uh, airport that's not working. So if we go to Settings or System Preferences and we go to Network you will see that the airport card is off. If you try to turn the airport card on, nothing happens. So, this is, seems to be a popular problem with a Mac, especially this MacBook Pro. It took me some time to find out what's going on. In the meantime, I have uh, found a different solution to this problem, which basically bypasses the airport. However, the problem with this solution is it only works on System 10.6 and it does not work on System 10.7 line. I've tried it with 10.7, it does not work. So what I did was I went and purchased this uh, little uh, network card. It's an AND card made by D-Link. The model number is DWA DWA 131. I don't know if you can see that, but DWA 131. It does work. This is 10.6 or actually this is 10.5 and all you have to do is plug it in then you have to get the drivers. You can get the Mac drivers for this D-Link card from D-Link.com It's very simple. If you, ha if you know anything about computers this is an installation just like on Windows. You install the drivers and it does work. Here's the interface and here we have the full signal strength. The card works fine. And you can connect it to any network. Here is Safari. And as you can see, the computer is online. But I thought, this is no way to fix a Mac. I mean, what kind of thing is that? I have a Mac that costs me umpteen thousand dollars, and I have a network card or some kind of doohickey sticking out from the side. No fun. Let's see what's going on. So, let me get rid of this Safari. Shut down this Mac. Shut down. Mac. Okay, now the Mac is off. I have this Mac partially taken apart, so nothing bad will happen to it. Let me put the camera here. Okay, so let's close this. Turn it over. Okay. So, when I took it apart, I was quite surprised to find that on board there is no uh, Wi-Fi card. There is no network card or wireless or airport on board of this computer, which got me puzzled. So I took the board out thinking maybe it's on the other side. Well, it's not. It's not on board. So if you have a problem with your uh, airport card, your motherboard has nothing to do with it, unlike certain um, Windows products, Windows laptops, where, uh, like for example, HP DV um, 6000, it can develop a problem where you cannot turn on your Wi-Fi card. Well, this is different. This is not a problem with your board. Board works fine. Do not replace your motherboard. It will not fix the problem. The problem is more interesting. So let's disconnect some of this cabling. There's one. 
here's another. Okay, we don't need this unibody. Okay. So what I found out is on the MacBooks, the actual screen has this plastic, okay, which got me thinking, how does a fully metalized case of the MacBook get um, the antennas sticking out? I mean, this is metal, this is aluminum, and this is aluminum. There is no, no way that antennas could get any kind of signal out of completely encased aluminum case. So then I thought, okay, here's plastic. This is where it must be. And it's at the base of the screen itself. So what you do is you have to slide this uh, cover off and you have to be very careful. The cover slides uh, to the right, so this way. Okay, you pull it out, you, you put a little screwdriver here, you kind of prime it and pry it, I'm sorry, and it slides and comes off. Um, inside of the base is our network card, which is, by the way, available on eBay. All you have to do is punch in MacBook Pro, airport card, or just airport, or Wi-Fi, and you will find it. They are available for about $25-$30. Um, it is, a, I don't know if it's generic or not, but it's definitely a separate component, which does help. Okay, and here are antennas. Antennas are in this plastic housing. This place used to be for a um, uh, inverter, and they've decided to use it for a network, which is kind of smart, but what happened with this particular one is this cable that I'm touching right now, I'm trying to plug it back in, let me get my camera back up here. Connect the cable. Okay, so the cable is reconnected. Let's reassemble our MacBook, MacBook Pro, I should say. I don't know if MacBook with a plastic case has the same configuration. It might not. So far that I have seen, all the MacBooks had their network cards connected directly to the motherboard. This is the connector Move it up. that is the network connector okay, for your Wi-Fi card. So turn it around. Prop it up. Come on. All right. Come on. All right. So now it's all good to go. <coughs> As you've seen, there is no battery inside of the MacBook. Let me turn it on. sound
Now because I don't have a battery in this MacBook, it actually takes a little longer to start up. Um, but uh, it'll all get okay once I... Okay, there it is. Now the airport card is connected. You can see all the networks have popped up. We can go to our system preferences. Let's cancel out of here. Oh, come on, there's the date thing that you'll get. System preferences, networks, and uh, here's airport. It's on. You can see that it's on. And now the button says turn it off. We don't want to turn it off, but basically it works. Uh, let me get it connected to the networks. Here's our list of networks, but you get the idea. It works. Sorry for jittery video, uh, there is no other way for me to easily get this done. Uh, here is Safari, and as you can see, we don't have our external card plugged in. We got the internet, and we got the signal, and everything is working. Now to the fun part. How the heck the connector that is actually supported by a small plastic retainer get itself out. So I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, shut down the computer, disconnect our power supply, close it up. Okay, so put our little cover back on. I'm not gonna clip it on, just kind of lay it in here just for show. Okay. Come on. By the way, I wanna tell you I'm not a fan of Mac. Okay. What happened with this particular one when I took it apart in search of the mysterious network card I found that this end where the card is, the clip on this side was actually broken off on a plastic piece. And that got me thinking, why would this side be broken off? So what happened was as the computer was being used, it was placed on something with this plastic part or maybe dropped. I didn't see any dents or anything in here, but the clip was definitely broken off and because the clip was broken off the cable for your network card is right here and the cable when I looked at it was well it wasn't disconnected like I just did but it was pulled out enough like this for network card not to work now I found some interesting solutions online and believe you me, I've searched high and low for a solution to this problem and there wasn't one online. Everybody was talking about, hey Mac people, and all the boards, uh, bulletin boards and blogs about Mac, um, everybody was talking, where is the solution? And uh, the most popular one that seemed to have worked is uh, if you hold Command, Option, P, and R during the startup process that resets your SMC, whatever that means, and kicks in the uh, network card. However, I do believe that this particular model has a flaw in this corner where if you bump it, the cable comes out and the retainer, plastic retainer that holds the cable in place does not do its job. It's a flaw within a Mac, Mac's perfect computer um, that is quite uh, difficult to fix 
because uh, well first of all you have to know uh, and Mac keeps everything a secret um, so you don't really get any uh, feedback from the Mac on how to fix any of these problems and uh, on Mac blogs nobody's talking um, so this particular Mac is lucky. There is really no problems with it, aside from the fact that uh, uh, the cable came out, which I'm going to put back in and reassemble, and uh, probably put a dab of glue on there, or uh, some tape. I think the tape was supposed to be used on this connection, and this would have never happened unless Mac specifically designed it to be uh, flawed in certain areas, because if you take this back to Mac Store, they will say it's a bad motherboard and they will say all kinds of horrible things to you that you will need to replace your whole computer and it's going to cost so much that it's cheaper to buy a new one. That's what they want to do. They want to sell you a new one. This computer is two years old. It's not old computer. It's designed to be working for at least five years, uh, maybe more. I mean, there are computers that still run that 10, 15 years old, and they run just